Hi guys, my name is Toby and in today's video I'll be telling you a story while I blend this braiding hair colors 350 and orange. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. So I met this guy when I was in uni, let's call him Sam. He was three classes ahead of me and he wanted me to be his girlfriend. I wasn't interested so I turned him down but he asked his friends to solicit for him and all that. I told him I can't be his girlfriend but I'd rather be his friend and he accepted hoping that things would turn out in his favor. We were in a project together and our paths kept crossing and we actually got close. While working on a project one day, he asked me out on a date and then he asked me to bring my friends. Weird. But I accepted and I brought one with me. I'd never been on a date before then so I didn't know what to expect but I took some money with me for whenever I want to buy something. He came to pick us up at my apartment. He didn't have a car so we had to go to the park to board a cab. Now this is where things got interesting. After the car took off, Sam whispered into my ears and asked me to pay for the cab. I didn't think too much about it, so I just paid for all three of us. When we got to the location, it was a restaurant and we ordered food. We had fun and when they brought the bill again, he texted me saying he didn't have any money with him, so I should pay for it. I was so confused and pissed at this point, like why would you ask me out on a date? Ask me to bring my friend and then not pay. I don't have a problem paying for my own food. But bro, you asked me out and even asked me to even bring my friend with me. So I expect you to pay. Let me know in the comment section who you think should pay on dates. Because I didn't know what was going on at that point and I was really, really pissed. Anyway, again, I paid. And at this point, as I said, I was freaking pissed. I just wanted us to go home. Now, my friend kept whining about getting some food to take home. And I'm like, girl, please don't do this. Let's just go home. But she kept whining and she was acting naughty. So I was like, yeah, just get it. But bills on you. Now, Sam told her, get whatever she wanted. And he paid for it. You guys, I lost it at this point. Now, I'm not one to cause a fuss in public. So I just said that we go home. And again, when we got to the cab, this man asked me to pay. Again, I was so freaking confused at this point. Like, what is going on? We got to the front of my apartment and I was so pissed. I was too pissed to even stay to look at him. And I just got down from the bus as fast as I could. He kept calling me, but I was just too pissed to even turn around to look at him to hear what he wanted to say. And no, he didn't follow me and he didn't even think of calling me. I thought of blocking him, but I didn't think it was a good idea because we were on a job together and our parts would keep crossing anyway. Some days later, I noticed that I was going out with my friend and I was pissed. No, I didn't want to date him. But I was pissed because of what happened at the date. Like, he didn't even message me to explain what happened after that. My friend visited me after a few days and we apologized to each other because we were both mad at each other. She was mad at me because I left her and I was mad at her because she was being naughty. And I also thought that she was having an affair with him. While we were seeing a movie together, she just popped up and said, Oh, I told Sam I was coming over to your place and he extended his regards. You guys, all my doubts about them having an affair flew off my mind. Anyway, he reached out to me a week later and he was telling me about how he misses me and I just messed the whole thing up. And I'm like, oh wow, how did I mess it up? And you would not believe what he said. He said he was putting me to a test to see how I react in that type of situation. And I failed. Wow. He was putting me to a test. Like I wasn't expecting this at all. But then he said he still likes me and I would love to go on a proper date with me. I was just lost guys because I didn't even know what to say. What do you guys think about this? I personally think he's having an affair with my friend. But would you advise I go on a date with him again? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!